right. So this week's video is going to be a little bit different than the normal videos, like with glue or whatever. Because for the past few days, I can't get it out of my head and I'm stuck. I really, really think that Drano can be used as engine oil. And I can't quit thinking about it, so I need to figure it out. Whenever you compare the two, if you look at engine oil, okay, and then Drano, they don't seem far off. Both of them, they look like they have about the same viscosity. The only thing that's really different is the color. I'm not gonna stick my hand into a Drano, but like whenever you get it on your hands, it's slippery, oil slippery. I think it's really gonna work. So I have a lawnmower that I'm willing to sacrifice. So let's get this thing filled up with Drano and see if it works. All right, this is the mower that we're gonna be sacrificing. It is a Briggs and Stratton 125 cc lawnmower engine, of course, because it's on a lawnmower. And I looked all over the place for the drain plug to drain the oil out of it, couldn't find one. So I'm just gonna have to do this like I'm some type of caveman. I'm just gonna use that to catch my oil in, the dipstick out of here. And then my plan is to just tip it over and drain the oil out. We'll see how that goes. Oh. Oh, this actually might work pretty good. I expected this to be a disaster. This thing has more oil in than I thought. All right, looks like that is all the oil out of it. In case you're curious, we got a bottom of a two liter bottle's worth. Now it's time to fill it up with Drano. All right, so I brought you guys in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. And I was looking for a funnel so that I wouldn't make a mess with the Drano, but just like every other aspect of my life, I am unprepared. So I found a water bottle cut the end off it, and I use it as a funnel to put the Drano in there. Hold this right here. Hopefully that doesn't make too much of a mess. <laughs> yeah, that was way too fast. I don't know exactly how much Drano this thing is gonna take because I forgot how much oil it took. I'll stop there and then check it. See where that puts us. Get this a little bit more level. That actually put us pretty good. I don't know if you can see it on the dipstick or not. Nah, it's gonna be all blurry. It's just a tiny bit, yeah. It's just a tiny bit overfilled. You can see the full line is here. You can't see that. All right, well, I couldn't get it to focus on the dipstick, so you're just gonna have to take my word for it. It's just a tiny bit overfilled. Nothing that won't hurt it as if the Drano is not going to hurt it enough. Get this tightened back on here. Now all we got to do is get some gas in this thing and we will be ready to go. It's pretty much empty. Oh, didn't expect that to happen. All right, let's get this thing filled up. I'm not going to fill it all the way to the top. That should be enough. All right, we are good to go. Now, before we go outside, I want you to leave a comment down below. How many minutes do you think that this is gonna run before it blows up, or if it blows up? Let's go outside and get this thing started. All right, guys, we got the lawnmower outside, all full of Drano and gas, ready to go. There'll be a timer in the corner of the screen to have an accurate time of how long it runs, but I'm gonna have a timer on my phone just so I'll have a general idea. Let's get this thing started and see how long it'll run. Almost forgot my vice grips. All right, three, Two, one. Well, that wasn't very promising. Wow. So I guess that was what, 20 seconds that it ran? I can already feel just from pulling it that it's starting to get tighter. So what I want to do is let's drain the Drano out, fill it back up with oil, and then see if it runs. Well, that was a major fail. I figured that it would have ran at least, I figured it would have ran pretty good for a little while, or maybe at least run 
a minute, two minutes, three minutes. <laughs> I didn't think it would run like 20 seconds and then die. So I guess now this is going to kind of turn into a revival video. See if we can revive this thing. So I guess we're just going to get this oil drained out of here and put, or this Drano drained out of here. Oh, the Drano is extremely foamy. Maybe that's why. Maybe it just foamed up and didn't do anything, which, I mean, you wouldn't expect it to do much since it's Drano, not engine oil. Oh, it's coming out like water, and it's really foamy. I don't know if you can see that, that from here or not. It's dirty, probably because it was mixed, probably because there was just a little bit of engine oil left uh, mixed with that. And it's real foamy on the top, and it seems like it's way, way thinner than it was when I put it in. So it's probably not made to put up with the heat, which it shouldn't be because it's not supposed to be in an engine. All right, now that we've got all that Drano out of there, we're just gonna fill it up with some regular oil. This is some 5W30. I know it's not exactly what this mower is made for, but I guess it's better than Drano. I'm really, really disappointed with that Drano. I really was hoping to see some type of explosion or at least some smoke or something. But I honestly, I don't think that it ran long enough to really hurt anything. I think that we'll put some of this old regular oil in here, pull it a few times, and I think it'll start right back up. No problems. Although I can smell that Drano in there really strong as I'm dumping this oil in. This thing might be done for. I don't know if you can see it on the camera or not. It's nothing but foam on the tip of the, tip of the dipstick. Well, according to the foam, it's full. All right, let's see if this thing can come back to life. All right, here we are. Try number two. Let's see if we can bring this thing back to life. Well, that was really close. Just as I suspected, it wasn't running long enough for it to really do any damage. Put some fresh oil in it, starts right back up. Well, it turns out I was completely wrong. Not only will Drano not make a good oil, it, won't, it can't even run anything for more than 15, 20 seconds. So that's honestly a surprise to me. But on the upside, I know it wasn't the result that everybody wanted. I know everybody was probably like me and wanted to see smoke and fire and explosions and watch the whole thing blow up, but unfortunately that just not, that's just not how this one played out. But on the upside, since I was able to put fresh oil in it and it's still run again, now we still have the mower to do other experiments on. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. What would you like to see me test with this mower next? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.